Okay, well, a few weeks ago, I made a video about all about reading, and it was about level one and how I organized that level with binders and a recipe box and lots of page protectors and how I've made the program completely non-consumable and I've been able to reuse it with multiple kids and how I've been able to organize all the pieces without losing them. And several people asked me about the pre-level, so I wanted to do a little virtual tour of All About Reading pre-level and tell you a little bit about it and show you how I've used it um, because I've used it now, I think through three kids um, so far. So I'll show you a little bit. This is the teacher's manual right here. It's not nearly as thick as in the later levels. And you can see it's very uh, worn and well-loved. We've used it a lot. So I'll give you a little peek inside. Each lesson covers a letter of the alphabet and you learn the letter, how to recognize the letter. And then the child has a workbook that goes with it, which my pages are all torn out. Mine are now in a binder, but they have a little craft sheet coloring page. I know you can't see it, but that is the letter E underneath all of that finger paint. There's an elephant right here but it has a little instruction on the back. I'll show you. Um, it has supplies listed and it has a little um, instruction. This one was to do uh, fingerprints and make little peanuts, which my child really didn't follow the directions and that's okay. We just kind of have been painting through or coloring through the different um, letters. So I haven't worried too much about the instructions because she really wanted to do her own thing. So the level starts out teaching letters. It teaches the capital letters first, and then it teaches the lowercase letters later on in the program. Now I'll show you a little bit about those lessons. Each lesson looks the same. It tells you what materials you will need and exactly what to teach. So I found it really helpful because I didn't have to do any planning or come up with any ideas for each letter. That was already done for me. Uh, one of the fun things about the program is you teach the letters with Ziggy the Zebra. There's a little puppet and that you can order through the program. I actually bought this one somewhere else, and then I bought several other animal puppets. And we usually did our entire lesson with different animal puppets. Um, I usually had to be the pig. I don't know why. And my kids were the zebra or the lion or tiger, um, but I was always the pig teaching the lesson. So that kind of made it a little more fun and interactive for my kids. And then as you progress through it, you start learning the letter sounds. So now that you've learned the letters, you're able to recognize the letters, then you progress to learning the sounds of each letter. So that is at the end of the program. Those are the last few lessons back here, um, all the way through letter Z. So there's 78 lessons. We usually covered, um, we didn't cover quite one a day. We covered two or three a week, depending on how quickly my child was able to move through the activities. There are also some other resources that come with the program that you can order. There are two books, and I'll show you a little bit about what these books look like. So the first book that you use is the Zigzag Zebra, and it's a rhyming alphabet. So it covers each letter, and then there's a little three-page Kind of rhyming, very short story um, about each letter, and a lot of the words in the story start with that particular letter. So my kids really enjoyed using this book, and what we would do is we would look through the sentence, and I would have them find every letter C um, in the story. So it really helped them find the letters in context, and it was just kind of a fun break from some of the other things. They liked the rhymes and the pictures. So that goes with when you're learning all of the um, letters and the letter names. Then as you progress through the program, you'll start using this book. And this is a collection of rhymes and poems. So a little bit longer, they do focus on a different letter with each one. That's the letter O you can see right here. Um, and there's two poems that have the letter O. And so that was a great way to start introducing the sounds, talking about the sounds that the letter makes, reading the stories, and really emphasizing the letter sounds. Um, this is for the letter R. And so you're talking about a rattlesnake. 
So I use that to really reinforce the different sounds. So those are fun little parts of the program. I don't think they are completely necessary. As you get into later levels of All About Reading, I do think the readers are a huge part of the program and I definitely would not skip them. But in this level, they were fun. They were fun extras, but I don't think that they're integral to the program at this part. And then I will show you the other part of the program that was probably my favorite part. Um, because you can teach the letters and letter sounds, you could find free printables on Pinterest and print off different things and do lots of letter activities because there are lots of preschool resources like that. I liked having mine all done for me and not trying to think of all that the night before because I didn't want to spend time doing that. But my favorite part of the program and the part that I thought was the most valuable are the little activities that go with each lesson. And they are on the back of each of the lesson pages. And they teach things like rhyming, um, beginning sounds, ending sounds, and lots of pre-reading skills that I really didn't think of. And I didn't realize how important they would be. And for one of my children who was a struggling reader, this section was really, really challenging. And we spent a lot of time working on these different activities and going back over them and over them. And I'm really thankful that we did that because it's really helped him be a stronger reader. And I can really tell that it's helped his reading skills. So that is probably, if you feel like you could teach the letter names and sounds yourself, um, you probably can. But I loved having the, these were the activities with Ziggy where you pull out the puppets. And these are the things that we did with the puppets. And on this one, uh, you say a word and your child is trying to say just the last sound of that word. And so that was really great to help isolate the different sounds. Like I said, there's rhyming, um, learning a little bit about syllables, just kind of a lot of pre-reading skills. They also use some of these cards. I'll put them right here. And we would do these and I would say the words with my child, like boat and there's a goat. And so they're trying to find the ones that rhyme. And we played a lot of different games with these cards, um, finding ones that started with the same letter, finding ones that rhyme. And so they're right here, they have them divided by lessons because they are actually in the curriculum and they tell you which set of cards to use for each lesson and what to do with those cards, whether you're trying to find rhyming words or you're trying to isolate the beginning sounds words that have the same beginning sounds and trying to match those up together. So there are a lot of fun activities in the program that use these cards. And then at the end, there are letter cards. We use these for the letter sounds once you get toward the end of the program. But that was probably my favorite part of the curriculum. And for me, it was worth getting the program just for this part alone because it's really what has helped my children with their reading skills and it's really set a good foundation for them. So if nothing else, I really like having the teacher's guide with my word cards to go through the different pre-reading skills because um, those weren't things that I realized I needed to teach. I, I don't have a teaching background, and so I didn't know kind of what pre-reading skills were. I thought you just needed to start with the alphabet and know the letters and know the sounds and then start blending them into words. And I didn't realize how important it would be for my kids to be able to isolate um, sounds at the beginning of words, at the end, and be able to recognize rhyming words and counting syllables. So that was something that I really found value in.